Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Helen, you're watching Stitch Whip Repeat, and I'm doing a video all about the hashtag going around at the moment for a challenge called Frugal Fox 2021. So you've probably all heard of this challenge by now because I know that some other fabulous sewing vloggers have been doing their videos over the last couple of weeks. If you haven't, then I'll just give you an idea of the details. It's the brainchild of two lovely ladies called Ruan, who is the Yorkshire Sew Girl, and Sam, who is Frugalissima. They have Instagram and YouTube channels of the same name, so please do go check them out. And they've come up with this great idea of how to make up a dress for very little or no cost. So it's a really easy challenge. It's only four steps and they are to choose a free dress pattern to have a rummage around in your stash and find the fabric to make it. Sew it up and then everyone's going to reveal their finished dresses on the 31st of March. Now you can take part in this challenge whoever you are. The only reason I'm recording it is because I volunteered along with I think about 40 other sewing vloggers to do a little video giving our ideas and plans and hopefully therefore giving some inspiration to anyone who is taking part. However, the wonderful Ruan Sam have come up with some companies who are going to donate prizes. So I love a good challenge, especially when it has prizes involved. So if you want to be in with a chance uh, to win one of those prizes, then when you do your reveal, it has to be over on Instagram and you need to tag both Sam and Ruan at their channels and to use the hashtag FrugalFrox2021. That way they can keep a track of everybody that needs to be entered and then you could win one of the fab prizes. If you aren't sure about the prizes, do go over and check out either Sam or Ruan's channels on Instagram because they've been putting up on a sort of daily basis different prizes from different companies and so far I've seen loads and I would like to win any single one of them, that'd be great. <laughs> um, so I love a good challenge as I say, so I do like this idea because I've not best known for my frugal ways <laughs> and so anything that is new to me is always really interesting and this has been an absolute eye-opener. So many people have done their videos already and I've heard of companies and websites that I'd never heard of and like a lot of people have said since watching videos and seeing people recommend all different places we can get free patterns it's been like going down a rabbit hole and I have been amazed by the amount of free patterns that are available out there so I have four patterns that I've narrowed mine down to for now two of them are from the company peppermint magazine and if you go online and type in peppermint magazine they've got their patterns on there I'm not sure if they're all free I think they are but certainly these two are free and so obviously that's free. So I did have a little bit of a cost in that they are PDFs. And so you would have a little bit of a cost if you printed them at home, because obviously you're using paper and ink, which you pay for. And I don't like doing A4 printing at home. I have better things to be doing with my time than sticking together 50 or 60 pages. So I prefer to send mine to a copy shop. And if you saw my most recent video, you'll know that was the wonderful people at Fabuloso and so I got them printed out so two from Peppermint magazine so I will tell you and then the other really good way to get free patterns and as people have said before obviously it's not exactly free because it's when you get a sewing magazine so I subscribe to Love Sewing they come with free patterns so obviously you pay for the magazine but then you get like two free patterns every month so the other two that I'm going to do are McCall's patterns from my Love Sewing magazine. So the first one I'm gonna do, or the first one that's possibly gonna do, is the Bardon dress by Peppermint Magazines. And hopefully I'll pop in photos and stuff. I really like this one because we are hopefully coming into spring and then summer and also I feel like we need a bit of a boost with how things have been recently so planning to do something nice and light and summery ready for the lovely hopeful days out down here in the beautiful Devon uh, this Bardon dress I think would be perfect it's got a lovely tear at the bottom and it looks like a really nice pretty and straightforward dress 
I realise that I'm not as organised as some of the other sewing vloggers because I haven't taken any note of fabric requirements or body measurements. So what I'm going to do instead is I will put down in the description below each of the patterns and then like fabric requirement suggestions and also the measurements the patterns go to. So that's my first choice. So it's very summary. And then my second choice uh, from Peppermint is uh, completely opposite. So it's called the Jersey Dress and you'll hopefully see it looks very similar to me to the Billy from Tilly and the Buttons and it just looks like a really comfy, slouchy, uh, easy to make dress for wearing around the house and I spend a lot of my time, well we all do at the moment, but I always spend a lot of my time around the house and so I thought this might be really nice to make up and as I said before I'll pop all the details of sizes because I wasn't I didn't plan this video very well, so I didn't think about including that, but I will pop them in the description for you if you're interested. So those are the two from Peppermint, which as I say, I had printed. So the A0 copies cost me about six pounds with postage for those two. However, if you want to do a PDF pattern with this challenge, the, um, the girls who've organized it have managed to get a discount from Fabricate. And if you use this code, which I'll pop up for you, uh, you can get a discount off one order. However, that doesn't have to be just the dress for this challenge. This can be any patterns you like. So if you want to throw in some other patterns you were planning to print at the same time, then go for it. But you've just got the one use for that code. So that's my two from Peppermint Magazine, which I have to say, I've never done any from Peppermint Magazine before, although I've had lots of people talk about them. So I'll be interested to see what the instructions are like and, and how easy they are or, or not <laughs> to make. Uh, then the second, as I said, these are from my Love Sewing Magazine. And I think it was either last month's or the months before that I got these. And I immediately thought back then, oh, I'd like to actually make those patterns. So as I say, these come free with the magazine and so I don't need to print anything out I've already got them and the first one is very similar in my eyes to the indigo from Tilly and the Buttons and it's this M8085 and it is for knits so again it looks a really nice simple make it's got the sleeveless version and then the I think they look like three quarter lengths but on the back it looks like the options might have long sleeves as well so I'll put in a line drawing because it looks like it's got three quarter lengths long sleeve and sleeveless I don't know if you'll see so I'll probably put those line drawings in but yeah that's a lovely one I think looks very similar to the indigo and um, again I'll pop all the details uh, down in the description for this interestingly I think to do with the challenge um, I noticed McCall's have started naming their patterns as well as numbers so this is called the Stella so that is possibly um, my third out of the four options that I might make. And my final one that I'm considering is again a McCall's from the Love Sewing Magazine. This one is 8030 and it's called Josie and um, it is a fabulous shirt dress. Now I do have the Tilly and the Buttons Rosa shirt dress which I've been meaning to do but I also like the look of this one. It's got different lengths um, for the dress and it's got a dipped hem on one of the versions. Again, I'm not sure if you'll see the line drawing so I may have to insert but this longer version has a dipped hem. So I really quite fancy trying that shirt dress as my fourth option. So yeah, I've got those four and uh, I'm not going to tell you which one I'm going to do because honestly I don't know yet. <laughs> I've still got to decide for sure. And also, I haven't looked at how much fabric is needed. So it may be dependent on what I've got in my stash and what size cut of fabric it needs. So talking of fabric, let me grab those fabrics and I'll show you the ones I'm considering using for one of these dresses. Okay, so for the jersey dress by Peppermint Patterns and the McCall's 8085, which I've just noticed I haven't got my reading glasses on. It's not Stella at all. The name is Ciela. Uh, so uh, yeah so that one there because they're both for stretch fabrics I've got a 
few to choose from, which I think I've got, I think I've got about three meters of each. So I'm hoping that one of these will be good. Now I'm thinking that this, um, this McCall's one, I'm probably going to go for the sleeveless and um, the shorter length. But for the jersey one from the peppermint pattern, it's big and snuggly. I've got this gorgeous viscose jersey from So Affordable Fabrics. And it's very similar to one I had, if you've seen my Sirocco jumpsuit. Uh, oh, I'll link the video down below if you haven't, but it's very similar in that it's this gorgeous, massive flower print on the blue and uh, really like the jumpsuit. So I think a dress in, uh, in that would be really nice. And I'm thinking the McCall's or the um, Jersey Jess Bay Peppermint either could suit that fabric there. So that's my first possibility. And then again, probably not so much for the Jersey dress because I think that's winter, autumn, winter vibes. So, and this is summery. I've got this gorgeous knit. I'm not exactly sure. I think this might be a viscose jersey as well. I got this, I'm pretty certain, from the Textile Brothers on Facebook. And yeah, I mean, I think for the um, McCall's summery one, this is perfect. I mean, it, it screams summer, right? I love this one. And then the last choice and I might go for the Jersey Jess in this as well but again very much thinking the McCall's one would suit this I have this which I'm not 100% certain I think it might be a scuba you'll know if you watch my videos I am rubbish with fabrics but this amazing toucan and a parrot fabric and I really apologize I can't remember where I got this one from if I do remember, I'll put it down, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking that make a really amazing dress for that. So I'm quite excited by those and deciding which one to go for. And then I have one that I'm thinking specifically for the McCall's shirt dress. Um, and it does say, I'm just checking, shirting, fabrics, poplin, linen, seersucker. So I'm not 100% certain what I've got would be correct because I think... I think it's a crepe but I'm not certain just one second so yeah I will have to check if I decide to go for this because it's actually got stretch in it so I don't think it's the right fabric but hey I will see but I have this and I have lots of this and I just thought um, as a shirt dress it'd be really nice I'm not sure it's very practical with four children and a dog <laughs> but there you go um, but yeah and I've got loads of this and I thought with the shirt dress with the dippy hem at the bottom, uh, that could be really nice. It's obviously you can see it's white and I think it's black. I don't think they're navy blue stripes. I think they are black. And I got a lot of that fabric. So yeah, I'll just have to check whether that would work with the pattern. And then lastly, for the um, Bardon dress from Peppermint Patterns, I'm thinking one of these two. Okay, and these are both crepes. So hopefully, because of the type of pattern is, they'll be, they'll be okay. The first one is, and you'll see obviously, I'm thinking summer beaches, etc. This gorgeous, big, bold flower print there. And it's got um, red and blue flowers on, which I just think in that Barden style with the big tear at the bottom in the summer would be absolutely gorgeous. And again, I think that I got this one from Textile Brothers. If it wasn't Textile Brothers, it would have been Shirley at So Affordable Fabrics. So either way, I'll be mentioning both companies in my description. So you can check out their fabulous fabrics. But again, it's a bit bold, I know, but I'm thinking, hey, if it's summer and it's sunny, be bold. <laughs> and the last one is another big flowery one, which, fairly certain I got this one from So Affordable. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's this one. So a bit brighter colours in this one with these. So you've got more yellows and purples and pinks going on in this one. But again, gorgeous fabric for a summer dress. 
and um, I've got loads of it. I think I've got like three, four meters. Uh, so I'm very excited and yeah, I will have to actually decide now because obviously we're in March and I've got to get it sewn up. So that's my plans. I hope you're going to take part and you're thinking about what you're using. Do check out the other sewing vloggers that are going throughout this month with their ideas and you know, obviously it might give you some idea of what you want to do. Yesterday's was the lovely Hales at Hales More Sewing. So please make sure if you haven't already seen that you pop back and watch hers and tomorrow is the lovely Alyssa from Sloth and Orchids and I will link both their channels down below and I'm interested to watch how they get on well I saw Hales this morning um, I'm interested to see what Alyssa comes up with tomorrow and then start sewing mine and I will look forward to everybody reviewing theirs at the end of the month and seeing who wins those prizes so if you want to be in with this it's Frugal Frocks 2021 make sure you search it on YouTube and Instagram and I'll come back to you when mine is finished and obviously if you don't follow me on Instagram please do I no doubt will be putting little sneak previews of how I'm getting on throughout the month and I'll sign off for now and I'll see you all in my next video